C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class Three, page number ninety eight, chapter number fifteen, Making Pots. Once there was a sparrow called Fudgudi, and a crow called Bhanate. They were fast friends. One day, Bhanate said, "Oh, Fudgudi, if you lay eggs first, then I will eat them, and if I lay eggs first, then you can eat them." Agreed. Fudgudi agreed. A few days later, Fudgudi laid an egg. Bhanate said, "Give me your egg. I will eat it. Do give it. Give it. Give it." Fudgudi was scared. She said, "Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, but I want you to first go and wash your beak in the river." Bhanate went to the river bank and said to it. Oh, river! Yes, brother," said the river. Bhanate. Oh, river! Please give me some water. With cold water, I'll wash my beak. Eating the egg is what I seek. The river said. But how will you fill water? Get a pot. Bhanati went to the potter and said, "Oh, potter, please give me a pot. In the pot, I will get water from the river. With cold water, I will wash my beak. Eating the egg is what I seek." Page number ninety-nine. The potter said, "But." How do I make a pot? Go and get some clay from the clay pit. Bhanati went to the clay pit and said to it, "Oh, clay pit! Please give me some clay. The potter will make a pot for me. I will fill water in the pot. With cold water, I will wash my beak." Eating the egg is what I seek," the clay pit said. "But how do I dig the soil? Get me a trowel from the blacksmith." Bhanati went to the blacksmith and said to him, "Oh, blacksmith!" The blacksmith said, "Yes, brother Bhanati." What do you want? Bhanati said, "Please give me a trowel. The clay pit will dig out clay for me. With the trowel, I will get a pot made and get water in it. With cold water, I will wash my beak. Eating the egg is what I seek." The blacksmith said, "Sure." You can take the trouble, but uh, do remember to return it. Bhanati took the trouble and went to the clay pit. It dug the soil and got some clay. The potter made a pot for him. Bhanati filled water in the pot and washed its beak. He then ran to eat Fudgudi's egg. By that time, the sparrow's egg hatched. A little bird came out of it and flew away, far away from Bhanate. Based on the Bhojpuri story written by Annapurna Sinha. Note: By enacting the story, children will enjoy and also understand the sequence of events. provide opportunities for their creative expressions and encourage them to do hands-on activities 
on their own. Page number 100. 1. Why did the crow need a pot? 2. Who all helped the crow to make the pot? 3. What things did the potter need? 4. Are there utensils made of clay in your house? Which are these? If someone gives you clay, will you be able to make some utensils from it? A bowl from a ball of clay. Knead clay and make a big ball. Using your thumb, make a small pit in the center by pressing so that it looks like a bowl. Leave it to dry and then decorate it. You can put things you like in this bowl. Page number 101 A bowl from a roll of clay. Knead some clay with water. Keep aside some clay mixed with water. This will serve as glue to bind two different pieces of kneaded clay. Take a part of the kneaded clay and roll it like a thick chapati. This will be the base of the bowl. Roll the rest of the kneaded clay like a snake. Fix the clay snake on the base to make a pot as shown in the picture. A pot from a chapati of clay. Look at the picture and make a pot. 1. What will happen if you store water in these pots overnight? 2. We often keep water in a clay pot at home or in the school. Why do these pots not get spoiled by the water? Have you ever seen bricks or pots being baked in a kiln? Note, the clothes of the children will become a little dirty while making pots with clay. But they will enjoy learning by doing. Page number 102 Long, long ago, when people did not have any pots, what did those people do? Why would people have made pots? Imagine, one day all the pots disappear from the world. What will happen in your house? Write down your answer in the blank space given here. Do you know, many, many years ago, there was a time when people had no pots. They started feeling the need to store and cook food. After a lot of effort and thinking, people learned to make pots. In the beginning, pots were made of stone and clay. People made pots of stones by digging and scraping stones with their hands. They made pots of clay by kneading the clay and shaping them with their hands. People also discovered that clay pots could be made stronger by baking them in fire. Chapter number 15 Making Pots ends here. You were just listening to the audiobook Looking Around Textbook in Environmental Studies for Class 3 Recorded by Butelang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Production assistance by Meenakshi Kukreti. Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.